Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to take a look at five easy to grow green plants that'll make your aquarium look nice and lush. And I actually have all five of these in the same aquarium right now. So we're going to see exactly what it looks like. It's been set up for about four to four ish months now. So it's got a pretty good uh, lush bush going. So let's go take a look. Here we are, my five plants to easily create a bush. And I think this looks pretty dang good. Uh, this has been set up for about four months, like I said, so it's slowly working its way across. I just spread some over here, and uh, in a couple more months, this is really going to be filled in. Uh, but let's just start with the plants here. And the first one I want to talk about is stargrass, which is this big bush right here of stem plants. Now, the interesting thing about this plant is it can slowly kill itself off. So you got to be careful. You don't want to let it get too bushy or it'll block out all the light and you'll start the leaves will start turning black the stems will start just looking terrible and it'll just slowly kind of die out so keep that in mind keep it somewhat trimmed so light can pass through uh, you can see kind of getting a little bare back there but for the most part a nice full bush and the uh, the scientific name I'm gonna butcher it's heteranthera zosterifolia I believe something like that star grass just just google star grass and you'll find it uh, it's not the easiest plant to ship though. Well, it's easy to ship, but it, it uh, doesn't always survive, so keep that in mind as well. The next plant I want to talk about is a good old Valisinaria. Now, I call all Val Jungle Val. Um, I don't believe that this is specifically Jungle Val. Um, it is a type of Valisinaria, but I just don't know what species. The, the, I, I, just, I just don't know exactly what species of Valisinaria. If you know, put it in the comments down below. The thing I love about this specific species is that the leaves are really narrow, kind of like a dwarf chain sword. Uh, I've got some val in another tank and the leaves are probably four to five times that width, which is, you know, that's cool too, but I, I just like, I like this thinner, more grass look out of this val and it just kind of grows over. I got to trim it every once in a while. Other than that, pretty easy to work with and it'll just spread across the back of the tank. Well, it'll spread everywhere if you let it, but I'm kind of stopping it at the midway point here. I'd kind of clip it and move it back. And speaking of sword, the next plant is going to be a micro sword right here. And I only started with a little, just a little clipping. So this is going to take a while to fill in, but you can see it's already spreading runners and that's what it does. It just spreads runners. Uh, oh, speaking of which, as far as propagating the star grass, like any stem plant, you can basically clip this anywhere and then just stick it back in the substrate and it'll grow. It sends out aerial roots as well, so don't be surprised if you see some roots coming off the stems. Perfectly normal. But anyways, back to the micro sword. So because I'm not running CO2 in here, this is going to take a long, long time to spread. If I was, and I might later add CO2, uh, then this will spread a lot faster. Right next to that, we've got the smallest crypt you can get, um, or the, the smallest known crypt, I, I suppose which is Crypt Parva. I absolutely love this plant, another really slow growing plant. Uh, actually, fun fact, this is the slowest growing crypt there is. Uh, so don't expect this to carpet really fast. There's things you can do to make it grow faster, like CO2 root tabs. I do fertilize this tank. Um, I do it uh, weekly with Easy Green. Now, normally this is uh, you know one pump per 10 gallons or in a 20 gallon tanks, but I always do for, uh, because this is so lush and bushy that I just need some extra fertilizer in there. Back to the crypt here. So this only gets about two and a half inches. This is this is full grown right here. That's as tall as it's gonna get. And again, it's gonna spread runners and it's already starting to uh, already. It's been like four months, but uh, we've got a little one coming up over here. And if we revisit this in about six months, maybe even a year, it might finally be fully carpeted in the front. So the plan is to have the dwarf uh, or the micro sword here, the uh, parva here, and then I'm planning on leaving this open, but here we can see the next plant. This is a crypt Willisii. And I will say the good thing about both of these crypts, the Willisii and the parva, especially the parva, there's no transition in the parva. When you buy this immersed and put it in your tank, it's gonna stay that way. There's generally not any die off. There's no like transformation. Same with the Willisii, but both will take months before they kind of get uh, settled in and acclimated and start spreading runners. So be patient and it'll pay off. This one's starting to spread runners finally. You can kind of see going back there in the corner. And I might get some questions on this plant. 
Uh, this is a newbie's Nana Petite uh, Snowflake, Snow White, Snowflake, uh, Snowflake, I believe. And um, this one's just floating. This one's attached to the wood. I'm just waiting to see if it's actually going to stay white. Unlike other Nubia species I see that are sold as white, they always tend to turn green. So I figured, I figured I'd try it out. It's new to me. I'm going to play with it and see what happens. So there you go, five easy plants to grow that will really just make your aquarium look really, really kind of lush and green and I don't know, I love this look. As far as equipment, I do have a really bright light though, which is definitely going to be beneficial. This is a Phoenix uh, Fugere, not the Planet, Planet Plus, but just the the, the Phoenix Fugere. Uh, Fugere, I don't know, probably not saying that right, but uh, substrate is just a mix. You can see sand here. There's Eco Complete uh, mixed in here, as well as some random uh, aqua soil that I don't know what the brand is. But there's some snail eggs. That's pretty awesome. And just bi weekly water changes, and that's it. About 50% every other week. And uh, oh, I do throw in some root tabs for the crypts too, um, as well. I've done it twice, so uh, not very consistent. I've done it twice in four or five months, so you know. Whatever, whatever helps. You know, there was some other plants that I was thinking about putting in here, like uh, Pogo Stemma Salatus Octopus, but I think that's just too large. Like that plant grows crazy and I think it would just overpower everything else in here. So I didn't want to go that route. I'm really happy with this specific combination of plants. Uh, maybe some Anubias down the road besides what's, uh, what's in there now. But we'll see. I, I, like I said, I might also add CO2 um, if I get impatient. Uh, I'm not really sure I am starting to run a lot of CO2. So we'll see, I mean, this is a whole rack of 20 longs that I'm gonna be, this was the next one to escape. Uh, I got some really rare Rotala there that's that's purple. I don't know how that's gonna come out on film, but it's purple. Um, and then a, a Crypt Rose and Maiden down here. So this is the next one. I've got one more up here, which is just holding a bunch of <laughs> house plants. I got some ferns in there, some pretty rare uh, pothos back there, but uh, yeah, this is actually going to be set up as uh, a breeding tank for Aspidora. So uh, it's going to be actually for these Aspidoras down here because I got to get them off this uh, gravel and onto uh, some sand. So anyways, that's it. That's uh, kind of the rundown of the five plants and also uh, some future escapes. Look at this guy right here. Look at this guy. Sneak up on him. Barcheek Gobies. I've got a trio in here. And uh, this is going to be their tank once I get this scaped up and get them to uh, spawn. But uh, anyways, this video is kind of going way longer than I thought it would. So I'm going to cut it off here. Let me know what you like. Let me know what plants you would use. And uh, we'll get some ideas down for people in the comments that are kind of looking to do something similar. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button. And uh, I'll see you all next time.